the truth the girls. Hi everyone. Well, I've got good news, especially for Star Trek fans. The replicator is here. It's a 3D printer. They've been around for a while actually. And it's like a regular printer except it prints in 3D. And it prints in plastic, PVC, or for $4,000 you can get one that prints chocolate. So you can print just basically anything as long as you have the, you know, the program to print it. I mean, you could make a, a hook or a, like a brace, an orthopedic brace, or you can make a doorknob. Chocolate would probably not be such a good choice for a doorknob, especially if there's a fire. But you could basically make anything you want. In fact, you could make guns with it. 3D printing revolution smells of gunpowder and more. Well, they say here that not only are 3D printers getting cheaper and will probably be in every house in a decade or so, but you can actually print all the parts that you would need to assemble a gun with one of these things, even a, a semi-automatic weapon that fires 600 rounds. Naturally, governments that are trying to ban guns are not too thrilled about that. Australia says printable firearms are a grave threat to Australians. Maybe they're more of a grave threat to a government that wants to have complete control. I don't know, just off the top of my head. Speaking of guns and gun control, Chicago has uh, some of the tightest gun control laws in America, and yet Chicago murder rate sets a new record. It looks to me like the gun control thing just isn't working. And um, I'm not the only one. In fact, one town in Georgia has made it mandatory for people to own a firearm. Of course, there are loopholes in it, so you don't have to do it if you don't want to, but they're strongly encouraging everybody to take their, their safety into their own hands. Because having armed citizens keeps crime down. You can take the example of Kennesaw, Georgia, where everyone must own a firearm and they have very, very low crime and are said to be one of the best towns for families, according to Family Circle magazine. And so enter the RepRap printer, which you can see here in this video. This thing not only prints your orthopedic harness and your doorknob and your hook and your semi-automatic weapon, but it prints its own parts. So you get one of these things and you can just keep making printers, which can then keep making guns and making more guns and making more printers that make more guns. And how could the government ever keep up with that? In the end, it really just comes down to whose hands would these guns be in? Will they be in the hands of normal law-abiding people who just want to protect themselves and make sure they live in a free country or will they end up in the hands of criminals but imagine if ever there was a revolution and everyone would be armed then you'd have an armed revolution and you always have the option of chocolate if you don't like bullets made out of metal it could be like a revolution slash easter egg hunt go out there with a gun have your revolution and then go pick up the bullets and eat them it doesn't have to be all bad. So let me know what you think about the, um, the 3D printer. Would you, would you want to have one? What would you use it for? And uh, well, thanks for listening to me, and I'll see you next time.